So we've talked about how to do exploratory data analysis for one categorical variable, two categorical variables, one quantitative, one quantitative, one categorical, and now we're going to talk about what to do with two quantitative variables. So this is for two quantitative variables. We're going to talk about the data visualization, which is the scatter plot, and in this section we're just going to talk about one summary statistic, which is correlation. So just as a reminder, correlation is not causation. Uh, causation is really hard to prove, but association is when values of one variable tend to be related to values of another variable. And variables could have a direction of association. So they can have positive association if when one variable goes up, the other one goes up. So we could imagine that like this. Uh, we could have negative association where when one variable goes up, the other one goes down. And we could have no association if knowing what one variable is doing gives you no information about the other. So it's just randomness. Um, so I have some data on colleges. It's from the US News and World Report. It's pretty old. I think it's from the 90s. And it has a bunch of variables. So it has the number of applications the college got, the number of applications they accepted, the number of students who, after they accepted, actually came and enrolled, uh, the percent of students who were in the top 25% of their high school class, the out-of-state tuition, the room and board costs, and the student-faculty ratio. So we're going to try to think about the association between these variables, uh, apps versus accept, accept versus enroll, etc. And what I would encourage you to do here is pause the video and just make some guesses about those associations before you go on. Okay, let's talk about it. So here's a scatter plot, and this is the data visualization type for two quantitative variables. The way that it works is we have one of our variables on the x-axis, one on the y-axis, and just like with a dot plot, um, one dot means one observation. So this is a particular college. And then we can look at the uh, strength and direction of the association. So with this one, it looks like it's going up to me. So I think that that is a positive association. And that's kind of what I would expect. The more, uh, the more applications that you get, probably the more you accept with some, um, some exceptions. There's probably schools that get a lot of applications but don't accept that many people. Um, and then when you talk about the strength of association, it could be weak, moderate, or strong. Um, I would probably put this to, to be moderate slash strong. It's not the strongest association I've seen, but um, it's at least moderate. I can see that there's a pretty clear trend. And then we could look at the other ones that I encouraged you to think about. Um, so I've got apps versus enroll. So that one also looks positive to me. If I look at the outstate versus the student faculty ratio, it looks like a negative association to me. So as the um, out of state tuition increases, the student faculty ratio decreases. Uh, and that means that there are fewer students in classes. So I think that makes sense to me. That would have been my guess. The enrollment versus the room and board, as the number of students at the university go up, it looks like the room and board price maybe goes down a little bit, uh, but uh, it's not very strong. So I would say this one is negative and weak. Um, and then the outstate versus top 25%, I can sort of see a positive trend, but again, this is positive and weak. And I would say that this one is strong, moderate. Uh, this is probably moderate here. All right. Um, I also have some data about cars. I have the weight in pounds of a car, the mileage in miles per gallon, fuel capacity, um, the number of the page that the car was written about in the Consumer Reports book, um, the time that it takes uh, to go a quarter mile in seconds, and the time that it takes to accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour. So I'd like you to make some guesses about the following associations, the strength and direction. So again, things like weight versus city mileage. Are heavier cars more likely to get 
better city mileage or worse city mileage? Weight versus fuel capacity. Heavier cars, are they going to have more or less fuel capacity, etc.? Um, and we can talk about these associations in synchronous class.